I truly hope you'll take time to read Ezekiel chapter 16 today. It's a chapter that deals specifically with Israel's detestable sin, but it also gives a really striking picture of God's relationship with, compassion for, and mercy towards his people. In verses 1 through 5, God pictures Israel as an orphan child of common parents, a child that no one cared for. God says, no one had the slightest interest in you. No one pitied or cared for you. On the day you were born, you were unwanted, dumped in a field, and left to die. Then God describes his love for Israel in terminology that applies to a child growing up in an atmosphere of favor and blessing. God does all the things that would be done for a child of royal descent. They are bathed and rubbed with fragrant oils, given fine clothing of linen and silk, jewelry and a crown, and fed with the finest of foods. Listen to verse 14. Your fame soon spread throughout the world because of your beauty. I dressed you in my splendor and perfected your beauty, says the Sovereign Lord. So what happened to this beautiful, privileged child, the nation of Israel? Well, the Lord explains in verse 15, But you thought your fame and your beauty were your own. So you gave yourself as a prostitute to every man who came along. And the following verses chronicle the tragic fall of Israel in the context of prostitution, defiled beauty, and a sick heart. I'll let you read that part for yourself. But here's the good news in chapter 16, verse 42. Then at last my fury against you will be spent, and my jealous anger will subside. I will be calm and not angry with you anymore. And the Lord speaks of the restoration of Israel in verse 60 when he says, Yet I will remember the covenant I made with you when you were young, and I will establish an everlasting covenant with you. And that's exactly what the Lord has done for you and I. Through his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, God has established an everlasting covenant with us. When we confess that Jesus is Lord, dying to ourselves and putting our new identity in him, and we believe that God raised Jesus from the grave to be the first of many to follow after him, God guarantees us a future with him in heaven. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ in the language and the history of the Old Testament. The new covenant established by the giving of Jesus' body and blood so we really, really can know what happens at the end of the road. Praise be to God for his glorious salvation.